Welcome, Chris here. So, we're going to review a game I just learned about this week. It's called um, World of Warships, and it's a free download on the PS4, uh, so that's the, the, the Sony PlayStation Store. Uh, and so I wasn't looking to buy anything, I was just looking to test a few games out, and this is one that I stumbled onto, and it was pretty fun. Uh, I'm not necessarily the greatest gamer, so sometimes it takes me a while to figure out how to use these games. Uh, but this one I had a, I, I was able to pick up pretty quick. I only took me a couple of games of getting completely destroyed before I learned the game mechanics. And then I uh, figured out how to wage uh, naval combat on other players. So we're going to walk through a quick uh, gameplay session, show you how the game works, uh, what the goals and objectives are, the basic uh, maneuverings that you're going to do, and then how to fire, which that took me the longest is to figure out actually how to aim my guns. So here it is. We'll check this out. It's gameplay, and uh, it's pretty basic. You're in charge of a single boat. In this case, I'm running the Dresden class cruiser, which is an entry level cruiser, I believe. Uh, the mechanics are pretty basic. You hit X to throttle up, which is going to move you through the water. Uh, square is going to, I'm sorry, circle is going to throttle you down. So if you want to throttle up, you hit X all the way to full and then throttle down, you hit circle until you're at a full stop. And, uh, and that's it, so the throttle's pretty basic. There's just, you can see uh, one quarter speed, half speed, three quarter speed, and full speed. So you don't, want, it's not like the throttle's real sensitive. So you get up to a move pretty quickly. To, to, to adjust your view, you're using the right joystick. To, a, to move or to steer the boat, you're gonna choose the left stick. And so it takes a, it took me a couple games to get used to that. The, the mechanics of using the right stick to, to view around and then lock in on your target, which is what you can see that center little like orange and white circle, that's where my bullets or my shells are gonna fly. So I, it took me a, a game or two to figure that out. You can see I'm firing now, and that's one of the benefits of the Dresden is it has a rapid rate of fire available to it. You can see I'm sending volleys at it, and they're locking dead, well, not dead on, but I'm, I'm hitting pretty regularly. You also are gonna take shots, right? So part of the trick with this game, and I'm just learning it, but is to stay out of, uh, stay out of the way of other boats, right? So what I tend to do is try to sneak up on them from the side or get out of the battle and then come into the battle so they kind of have already engaged with another, another competitor. This is all AI play here, so they're not, uh, not a lot of intense strategies going on. Uh, but the game is fast. Generally, your games are going to take anywhere between five and ten minutes, so you don't have to you don't have to carve off a whole day or a whole evening to enjoy a game or two. It will take you, you know, I would say an hour or so to become familiar with the controls enough that you're not just getting destroyed. But once you figured it out, the game is pretty basic. Um, you know, and you can see across the top there, you see blue uh, kind of blue sh little shapes and red little shapes. Those are boats. And so it's uh, the 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 requirements for winning are pretty basic. You destroy the other player's boats or you capture their base. I've never played a game where we actually capture the base to win because generally the boats are all taken out well before uh, you have a, a capture. Ca the, the capture is on a timer and so generally the boats are battling each other and you never get to the point where everybody's just sitting around waiting for a capture timer to, to get triggered for a win. But you can see, uh, you know, you can, you can zoom in with your your um, L2 controller and you fire with your R1 controller. So, you know, for this type of game, you're going to have close quarter combat where you know, you're coming up side by side, um, or you're doing like here where I'm firing from quite a long distance away and I want to zoom in to hit the targets and then I just maintain my zoom view because I'm curious to see what kind of damage I'm doing. And, uh, you know, the boats who are actually doing close quarter combat, they're in it, right? So they're not zooming. They're able to just fire uh, and see what the outcomes are. Or as I'm maintaining a view or a zoom view here. It's, uh, I will say that there's not a lot of, you don't feel any uh, current pulling you. So, you know, from, from uh, just uh, the physics and the, the realism of play, uh, you know, it's kind of like driving a slow car, you know, you're... The steering's not real sensitive, but there's no currents, there's no tidal action that is moving your boat beyond your ability to control. And so that's one bit of realism that would be interesting is to see you know, how difficult it actually is to steer a boat in real weather conditions. 
as, as I noted, playing, uh, steering your boat, your ship, using the game uh, mechanics, it's just like driving a slow, big car, right? Uh, but not a lot of environmental impact on your ability to steer, no wind, anything like that. And likewise, uh, those same physics might, you know, impact your, your, uh, your firing as well, right, over long ranges. A strong wind can take your shells to a different, uh, off on a different trajectory. So you can see I'm blowing up a boat there, and that's it, right? So the the game ended when the last boat was destroyed, and that's the game, right? It's pretty basic. You're uh, you head into naval combat with some other ships. When all of the ships on one side are dead, the game is over. Uh, easy to play. It's a free download. I would say it, it took me about a day and overnight to download it. I think it was 26 gigs or six, it was. I don't know if it was the size or just the source, the speed was real slow. So it took me a full day to actually download the game and get it running. But once I had it, like I said, I, I, once I played a game or two, I'd figured out really how to shoot and how to line up my little circle on your targets. And once I understood that, it was, uh, it was nothing but fun. I will say I did play a game with humans, and humans are far more difficult as you would expect. And uh, there's a lot of strategies that you can use. You can ram each other, right? And if somebody rams you, it's pretty much game over. And so if you're on a losing side, and this happened to me where uh, we were down boats, and uh, one of the other players just rammed me, and I think it took us both out, but for him it was more important to get the few remaining enemy ships out because they had a fairly sizable fleet left. Uh, but anyway, it's a lot of fun. Free, did I mention free? Right, uh, a great way to spend some time if you're stuck in the house like me uh, and don't want to spend a bunch of money. Check it out. It's a world of warships. Anyway, I hope you hope you have fun. Enjoy. Take care, and we'll see you next time.